Right, I'm going to prune this hydrangea back. Right, so I've just taken off the buds, flower buds, spent flower buds. And you want to remove any dead, dying, damaged, crossing or rubbing um, branches. So not too much. All these shoots or flowers, so that's all your flowering buds for this year. Don't do that like I just did. Cut that one too short, that'd be all right. Uh, that's the dead stems. So take out any dead, dying, damaged, disease, crossing, rubbing, anything like that. Of course, you can, of course, thin them out as well a little bit. Uh, maybe one third every year if they're becoming too congested. More dead. So take out any dead pieces. All right, so it's March now. Um, So I think there's a, a bit of dead in there. I'll have to clear out and thin it a bit. It's gonna end up looking more greener than it did when I started. And then you probably wanna feed them with some uh, blood bone and fish, dried blood bone and fish, that sort of thing. now this time of year what's dead and what's alive because it'll have shoots on it absolutely love doing these this is actual proper gardening isn't it? People moving their wheelie bins in. It was a garden waste day today. So I'm removing dead and faded flowers. Don't need dead stems. So removing dead, dying, damaged, disease, crossing, rubbing, unwanted and unshapely. That's quite a bit of dead. Good morning, Steve. Right. Sorry about that, chaps. Um, the customer just come out with a cup of coffee for me, so that can't be bad. So. Uh, quick interval and we'll get back on with it make sure when you're doing this you've got a clean pair of secateurs as well because you get transfer of disease otherwise so clean them clean them in between in between pruning bushes clean your secateurs I'll move my bag out of the way now Seems to be a lot of dead on this side. Consider all that of death. Usually, I think that's quite normal. It's old. It's old and muddy on that side, so it's old stems. So it's nothing to be alarmed about.
yeah, it was in the middle of pruning, and the gentleman came out with a cup of coffee. These are lovely people here, lovely people here to work for, and uh, permits me to show you what I'm doing. It's quite nice. It's quite nice to be able to share what you're doing at work with everyone. Yeah. Oh, there is some growth on this one, so I won't go quite so hard with that one. It's good as there, I think. There's a tiny bit of growth coming on that one. <clears throat> it does pay sometimes to thin out about a third of the old woody stuff to revitalise the plants. That's quite old, that one. Birds have got a lot to say here today. <clears throat> oh blimey, that bird literally came right up to me. I don't know if I'm disturbing it so they can see the worms and stuff. Of course the birds will be on nesting now because it's March. Right. And once the budget allows it, I'll get a better camera because I'm not quite happy with this one. It's not brilliant. It's not the best camera. Well, I think that's about done. I might go over it again, take a bit more out. That's what you're looking for. They're all flower, all those uh, buds that are left. And they've got a fern. I'm gonna come around here now and clean the fern up. So we're in March now. Clean all that up and uh, put it in the wheelie bin. <clears throat> all right, guys, just gonna clean up these, uh, clean up these ferns. I'll be growing up through that. Just leave it on. I left it on. I left this on to protect it from the frost. I think they're starting to grow underneath it now. Mr. Robin come in. Right guys, if you enjoyed my little um, hydrangea pruning video, um, hopefully you found it informative. I do a lot of hydrangeas in March. Uh, if people haven't phoned me up yet, they may not have had their, theirs done, but as and when I come across the hydrangeas, I will be tidying them up along with any other shrubs that I come along or come across. Um, anyway, I forgot to do an intro, an intro, no, an intro. Forgot to do an intro, so consider this my intro. If you found the video of any use, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're not subscribed and, and you'd like to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. I know a lot of people are not subscribed that are watching them. It's perfectly okay, but I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so I feel like I'm actually getting somewhere. It's hard work this YouTubing game. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one hopefully.